Oh, wait, what do they have? Maybe two things. Oh, how precious. Now, this is all cute and cuddly, but you gotta remember why we came here. We came here to buy a light, and we came here to do an unboxing. What kind of tank would Chomper want? So many to choose from, and they're so big. It's like being in Disneyland trapped in here. Looking at something like this, this is perfect for that back shelf. Forty, yep, that's it, just the tank. So this is what we're going home with. We're gonna try this out. We're gonna try to add a little more flow to our tank. Wish us luck. The wave maker's too strong for it, so we're gonna add the little mini pump to it just to add it as a power head. What do you see? What do you see, young man? You always want something. What? A new tank? Save your money, boy. Oh, we got all this water we gotta bring home. So this is the chosen one. This light is the Aquanite V2 by the brand Spectra. And it looks, it looks awesome. I'm definitely excited to try it. Uh, however, it is not made in the USA. But in my opinion, still worth a shot. In addition to our jugs and jugs of reverse osmosis water, during a pandemic and quarantine when gyms are closed, don't worry, just make sure you have a salt water tank on hand. That'll keep you in shape. And this is what the soon-to-be old saltwater setup looks like, with its traditional hood and the light that it comes with stock for the Fluval Flex. So we are going to upgrade this, remove this top, and make this beauty happen in this video today. Stay tuned. Watch all the way till the end. The once 7,500K light will turn into a 10,000K programmable, very similar to the BioCube, which is very convenient. For day cycles it will also be transforming this tank with once having a hood to cover the top into an open top tank so what i'm doing right now i will no longer have to do by cleaning salt and debris off of the top of this tank i'll also have to remove this wave maker now that we got the new mini little power head that will provide enough circulation for this whole entire tank to not stress out certain corals but give it proper flow all the other components that came with this product stock will remain the same the stock power pump as well as the filtration system everything but see here's an example of when we turn it on it is just too much flow for this small tank now these are a nine gallon tank and this is e this is the i don't know how many exact gallons per hour this little mini wave maker provides but it obviously is just way more than what we need and towels are a must as we always make a mess what 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 is that Bearded dragon food always finding its way somewhere in the house. Ugh. And because it was hard to find a perfect optimal flow, I will also be removing this aerator that provided somewhat of an additional flow to this tank and also helped keep the alkalinity balance in this tank as well. But goodbye, wave maker. I will not be missing you, so see ya. Now to unclip and get rid of you. One of the only problems that I do have with this tank is just the flow. The flow coming out of the already sunken water pump that comes with this tank. So we are going to add a, another little mini submersible water pump on this side here. So we finished our water change, with our water from the fish store. So now we finally got the submersible power head right under the other two directional power head spigots or spouts that it comes with. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on right now. Sweet, so I have one facing up, the other one facing towards this direction over here, and the new power head blowing this way. So now we have a nice versatile current, three different ways, so that's gonna hopefully stir things up a little bit better. We also replaced the carbon in the back, fresh carbon, so hopefully we are on to a more cleared cycle tank. So now for the good stuff, we are going to open our new Aquanite V2 by Spectra, and it is beautiful. We're gonna unbox it, hook it up, and install it. This one also comes with the arm, as opposed to some other aquatic and marine coral lights. They do not come with the arm that's sold separately. This one does. As well as all your other needed power components. Two screws check to mount it and of course full instructions on how to program your time settings dimming moonlight and sunrise 
And now that we've finally removed the atrocious aerator, I can actually peacefully keep this an open top tank with the light of my choice on the top without all of the microscopic little salt particles and air bubbles making their way to the top. Now I'll just have to worry about them accumulating on that cord over time, which I'm not worried about because nothing beats the cleanup of having an aerator on a saltwater fish tank. How do I know? Let me show you. All of this is salt. That is all salt on the top of this nano fish tank in my son's room. Now let me show you what else. I have a full video on this, adding a salt. Ooh, oh, look at all that salt. This is chunks, this is enough to make, oh goodness, you can open up a salt store. You can make a salt lamp out of this. It does grow a lot of algae even on a very slim cycle. This is only on four hours a day but it's a very strong light. Sometimes I think it's a little too strong for this setup. Uh, the pumps, this would definitely need some additional submersible power pump as well to maintain proper current and flow for coral because it's not as easy as it looks in this small tank. We got a bunch of shrimp, a bunch of crabs in there. They usually maintain the algae. It doesn't get out of control, but it definitely doesn't make it go away. But back to this beautiful tank and let's set up this light. Just wanted to add, even the finishing on this light is so nice. It's like that soft kind of, I don't know if it's some silicone type finishing or what, but it's a very interesting, classy feel of a rubber. Nice job. Great craftsmanship. Similar ballast to a laptop connector or any other electronics. This will save any shortage or any power outage if you get a power trip from ruining your light. So you got these little AC DC connectors here. Then you got the end that will go into this end here that connects to the light. And push it in extra snug. This end should go actually inside of this end so it creates somewhat of a waterproofing snug fit. And we finally have it fully mounted with the two screws. It's very simple. You slip it on, you tighten the two screws, it secures itself to the glass. It can't be any more simple than this. So we are about to turn it on for the first time. I have never seen this tank. I don't know if it's gonna to need to be programmed first or if it will automatically illuminate, but AJ is going to plug it in. Nice, what? Oh, it goes through a cycle. Okay, so I guess it just flicked on the white spectrum and then it has the white, the purple and blue apparently, but I guess it is set stock in a sense. So we're gonna go ahead and read the instruction manuals for the first time and commence with the programming and the installment of the light cycles. I wonder if that's gonna have any effect on the crawfish tank it's housed right next to because it seems some beams of light actually do hit some portions of that tank. Never know if that'll grow algae on it, I hope not. This is a great light and I'm excited to try it out. Okay, so we turned off all the other lights in the house so we can actually look. This looks like it illuminates it just perfectly. I am beyond pleased, I'm very excited. Our starburst anemone is just starting to open too. I like the fact that we finally turned on the light. We have some zoa polyps right there, so. Duncan coral back there everything will start to come out and hopefully this water starts to clear up soon and we can start growing a lot more coral in an open top tank converting the fluval flex into a saltwater nano aquarium awesome and okay after you set the time very simple like setting a clock plus and minus for the hours and minutes you press okay to move from the hours to the minutes it got extremely bright just now the fan turned on we are now in the dimming cycle Dimming setting, it is on the first dimming setting. I will start dimming at six. Okay, okay. Now we're at 1A, signifying the level of brightness for this feature, for this dim. So we're gonna now, oh, the guy at the pet store said they're in levels of 100. There's a white, there's a blue, and there's a purple spectrum in here. And to lower them to each individual, Oh, I took a video of that. Let me refer to that video real quick. Okay. Now it's pink. Now okay. it's the blue LEDs. Okay. Hmm. Again, they have a set. Okay, so the first setting is the blue spectrum. He said to knock this down from 100 
to ideally, this is a nine gallon Fluviflex, a 10 gallon basically. So he said it'll be ideal at 40 for this specific size tank. And it has a wide range for the spectrum, which is excellent. So you can kind of tailor this to any tank and any size tank that you need. As long as it's not too long, then obviously you would need two of these lights. And by reducing it from level 100 to level 40 on the spectral light, it definitely did neutralize the blues. Sorry, I take that back. A is purple. Okay. Okay. Once you set it, you hit OK again. Okay. Now it's B. Now okay. it's the blue LED. We're done with that one. So hit OK. Now, boom, B. Such a strong, savage light. He said to set this to 30. Okay, and obviously if you hold it down, it moves a lot faster than by tapping it. Perfect. Okay. Now we are in C. Which is your whites. Okay. C and is white, whites. You don't need five. Sure. Out of the hundred? Excellent. Well, so reduce it to five. We are going to bring this all the way down to five. Lovely five. You could kind of see it is adjusting here. Wow. Actually, bring it a little bit up. We'll bring it. We'll bring it to ten. Okay. And I must add, I am very pleased with the current output of this product, as well as the sweet aesthetic design and output of the Spectra Aquanite V2 Aquarium Light. So we are 48 hours in from installing our new coral reef tank light and turning our Fluval Flex into a saltwater aquarium. I cannot express the joy of seeing such a clean and clear tank such as this compared to what it was previously. Sunburst anemones loving life. I mean, we even got the urchin back here coming out to eat. It's just simply the quality of this light screams illumination and appreciation for watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and staying tuned in for this whole video from our product unboxing, the review. So make sure you smash that like button, stay tuned for more videos, subscribe to this channel, drop a comment below on what kind of light you have on your saltwater or freshwater aquarium. And or if you have any other questions about this specific product. And I honestly don't remember if I included the price point for this product, but this light was just over $100. Once again, this video was not sponsored, but ladies and gentlemen, the Spectra Aquanite V2.